Have you ever wondered what does the Bible really say about judging others? Well, it's an intriguing question, isn't it? Judging, as it's often understood, carries a negative connotation. But does the Bible really say we should never judge? The answer might surprise you. The Bible's teachings on judging are more nuanced than a simple yes or no. We've all heard the adage, judge not lest you be judged, but it's crucial to delve deeper into the context. The Bible indeed discourages harsh and hypocritical judgment. It counsels against passing judgment on others while ignoring our own flaws. However, it's not an absolute prohibition against all forms of judgment. The Bible encourages discerning judgment based on truth and love. It calls us to confront the sins of others with truth, but always with love and humility. So judging as per the Bible is not about pointing fingers, but about fostering understanding and growth. Let's dive into specific Bible verses to gain a deeper understanding of what it truly means to judge. The Bible offers numerous insights into the concept of judging others. Let's delve into some key verses that shed light on this subject. In the book of Matthew chapter 7 verses 1 and 2, we find a caution against hypocritical judgment. The verse reads, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. This verse is not a blanket prohibition against judgment, but rather a warning against judging others while ignoring our own faults. It's a call to self-reflection and the need for personal integrity when offering criticism. Moving on to 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 12 and 13, the Apostle Paul provides guidance on who believers are to judge. He writes, What business is it of mine to judge those outside the church? Are you not to judge those inside? God will judge those outside. Here, Paul draws a distinction between the spiritual family of the church and the outside world. He advises that believers should focus on maintaining moral standards within the church, leaving the judgment of those outside to God. Lastly, in the book of James, chapter 4, verses 11 and 12, we find a reminder that God alone is the ultimate judge. The verse reads, Brothers and sisters, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against a brother or sister or judges them speaks against the law and judges it. There is only one lawgiver and judge, the one who is able to save and destroy. This verse underscores the importance of treating each other with respect and love, acknowledging that the ultimate authority to judge rests with God alone. These verses reveal a balanced view of judgment, emphasizing discernment, compassion, and humility. So, what have we learned about judging others according to the Bible? We've uncovered that the Bible holds a nuanced view on judgment. It discourages us from engaging in harsh and hypocritical judgment, reminding us of our own imperfections. We are taught to refrain from casting the first stone, for none of us are without sin. However, this does not mean the Bible advocates for a lack of discernment. On the contrary, it encourages us to exercise discerning judgment. This means making assessments based on truth and love, not on prejudice or self-righteousness. In our daily interactions and relationships, these teachings play a pivotal role. Instead of rushing to conclusions about others, we are called to approach situations with understanding, humility, compassion, and a sincere desire for truth. In essence, judging others is not a simple matter of right or wrong. It's a complex issue that requires wisdom, patience, and a heart aligned with divine principles. Remember, judging others is a complex issue, but through understanding and applying the Bible's teachings, we can navigate it with wisdom and compassion.